Hello, welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, we're continuing on with the fly box pattern themes and in the vise today what you see is one of Wayne Jones's hair's ears. So without further ado, let's get into it. In the vise you see a Hanak 230 barbless hook and this one's at size 12. Now I'm using a barbless hook, Wayne's used a Kamazan B175 which is a barbed hook and I think his fly is at size 10. But uh, the thread I'm going to be using today is a uni thread, it's the red and it's at 8 -0. First thing to do then is get a little bit of wax onto our thread just to help bed the materials in and adhere the thread to the shank. I'm starting in just behind the eye and I'm going to run my thread all the way back to where a bar would be on a normal hook. Just remove my waist there. Now the tail is I'm going to use a little bit of fibre from uh, a hair's mask. I don't know how well you can see that there on the camera but I'm, I'm taking fibres from this bit here. If we have a wee look at the original fly of Wayne's, you can see that he's used some guard hairs from the hairs mask. So I've already pre-selected some bits and I'm just going to dress it up to the hook. Quite a bushy tail on this fly, uh, not something I'm a big fan of personally but Let's try and stick with the pattern that's uh, been shown. So there we go, we've got the tail in and I've got it protruding approximately a quarter of an inch behind the bend of the hook there. Okay, the next thing to go on then is the flashback and I'm going to be using the Vivas, it's P01 and it's the medium. And I've already taken a little bit of that off. So I'll just catch that in. Quite a lot going on at the back here. And you've got to be mindful of the bulk you're creating at the rear of the fly. It's not going to be a problem, but it just you'll notice that you've got quite a lot of bulk here. And uh, it's, there's a bit threadbare there. But because we're going to use a dubbed body, it doesn't really make that much difference. The rib I'm going to be using is from Flybox, it's the black and it's 0.09mm. I've already taken a little bit of that off and I'm going to catch that in the full length of the body and I'll just use open turns, oh, made a bit of a mess of that, to secure it into place. There we go, caught it. So I'll bring my thread back to the butt end of the fly and the dubbing I'm going to be using is from Troutline and this is the Mad Rabbit Plus. Now I dare say Wayne's probably just used Ordinary Rabbit but um, I'm going to use this I think it will create a very similar effect and I'm just going to dub this onto my thread quite tightly I don't, it's not a it's not a particularly spiky dubbing looking fly this so I'm going to try and dub it on as tight as I can and that will do for now if I need some more I can just add to the dubbing or take away as I see fit as the fly starts to come on now as you can see when you're using dubbing you can just fill, yeah I do need a little bit more, you can fill the gaps so that bit of thread that I was mindful of that I had towards the front of the fly I've been able to cover that up with some dubbing. So I'll just come back and make sure that I've got a nice evenish body to the front of the fly. Okay that's looking not too bad just going to remove some of the longer fibres from the Mad Rabbit uh, that I don't want and first thing I'm going to do is bring over 
my flashback. Try and keep it uh, directly on the top of the shank of the hook. Just going to get a couple of turns over there to keep that in place. And once I've got it in place, I'm just going to add a little bit of wax to my thread to help me keep that all pinned down. Just put a couple of turns in. Then I can lift back my waist, come in with my snips and take that away. Okay, so far so good. Next then, I'm going to bring my wire rib towards me. I'm going to try and keep it nice and even turns. Doesn't need to be particularly close. Just keep the turns even. Don't worry if you catch some fibres in across the back of the shell back. It's not going to make a great deal of difference to the trout. So a couple of turns to hold that into place. And then I'm just going to get a few wraps down before I keep tension on my thread and twist away my wire rib. Okie dokie. So all good. Now Wayne's original fly here has some uh, jungle cock eyes as you can see in at the side here. So I'm going to get my trusty jungle cock cape and I'm going to select a feather from it. Now my feathers are uh, a little worse for wear on the small side so it might just take me a second. Should have done this really but bad planning on my part. So I've got myself a feather. Now you can see that on the jungle cock feathers if you're using a cape you do have these little gar feathers that surround the actual eye itself. I don't want them so what I'm wanting to do is I'll just catch in the tip with my thumb and forefinger, bend it back and strip away any of the gar feathers that I don't want. So what I'm left with is that now. I also don't want to use the whole feather, I want to split my feather. So I'm going to try and do this on camera but it is quite difficult. I'm going to put a cut down the centre of the eye. Then what I can do now is using my thumb and forefinger from my left hand is take the jungle cock and split it just like that and then I can capture that in with a couple of turns. Now before I commit to wrapping it down firmly and removing my waist I just want to turn it to the side and I'm glad I've done that because it's kind of cocked down on your side which I don't want. So what I'm going to do is come back a couple of turns and I'm just going to use my thumb and forefinger to try again to get that to sit into place. If you're not happy with something, just go back. It's not a race. Uh, if you're tying for yourself, it's not a race. I suppose if you're tying commercially, it is a race. But um, I'm very happy with that now. It's just sitting exactly where I want it. So I can now come in with my snips and just catch that tail end and remove my waist. Now before I do anything else I'm going to just tidy all this up at the front and come back to here. Now I know what you're thinking it's uh, it's a rather large head for a nymph but uh, on the original fly what Wayne's done with that is he's used um, some type of glister here and it's, it looks pink to my eyes but when I've looked at the pictures on the website it looks a bit orange but I'm going to use some pink I don't have the exact um, recipe for it but what I am going to use is some of this Soldarini's Spectre dubbing and it's pink now you don't need very much of this I mean I'm just ca catching a couple of fibres out of the packet you can see there there's very little in my hands and I'm going to dub that on to my thread And hopefully this will give me the, a similar effect to what Wayne's achieved here. So again I'm going to 
pinched down on my jungle cock eyes. I don't want them being moved or disturbed. And I'm going to bring the head like so. So that's looking not too bad. And to finish off, I'm going to use some Solaris bone dry. Stick that on my thread. And you don't want to build a big prominent wrap with your thread here. It, it, there's only a little tiny hint of the red on the original fly. So I'm just going to stick in a half hitch there. Remove it with my snips. Then I can come in and cure off the head. Now if you were of a mind to, you could um, use your dubbing brush to tease some of this out. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I think it looks okay just as it is. Uh, and there we have Wayne's hair here. Quite a close um, copy of the fly. Probably not exactly the way Wayne would have it, but um, good enough for government work. I hope you enjoyed that and you got something from it. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so and I'll see you all next time.